back in the basket. He really looked to attack the point guards for Denver, was not going into any hesitation whatsoever. And when he gets below the free throw line, he is difficult to stop. And then when he gets it going inside, he can pop that three as we just saw. But what I like, he was aggressive, and he needs to be that way tonight against Damian Lillard. Rose is on the move. Rose to the rim and got it to go. Oh, nice move. Rose comes right at Lopez. Oh. Got it and a foul. There he is right there. That's strength right there. He went right at the seven footer and got the contact. And we saw this last night in Denver where he, you see the teams try to force him. In the Western Conference teams, I said do this a lot. They get on top side and try to force him to the big guy. And they don't run, understand that he's got his explosion back and the quickness is there. And then you see the strength to finish over the top of the seven footer. Derek makes the free throw, completes the three-point play. Well, they're going to try to get the ball out of his hands, but if you're going to double team like that, you got to make sure that the, your defense is ready. Here's Mike Dunleavy, and that, and he's going up against a smaller guy on the backside rebound. Rose fights it oh, up and good. Nice so, drive as so he sliced strong. in from right to left. Here come the Bulls again. Rose blows in. Layup oh, good. This is like he's playing outside on the playground. <laughs> he's just no, I mean, he's just going from coast to coast and just going right up people's back. I mean, Derrick Rose right now is having a field day with the Portland guards. Six and a half left and a timeout taken by the Trailblazers. You see Derrick accelerate and then a little hang and uh, off glass softly. Well, and Derek from long range around the rim and good. And that was right in Nicholas Batum's face. He jumped out there and got a hand up by Ford. And it's Derek Rose below the free throw line. There's no one better. He gets to the basket. He's not seeing a lot of double teams. He's breaking the defense down and a nice little floater. And he's got 15 first half points, four rebounds and an assist by Portland to start the quarter. There's Jones oh, nice. all alone. Nice go out at the top. Derek for three. Come on. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you what, he's knocking these shots down with what else he's doing by getting to the basket. And there's another steal. Back to him. Portland running to Matthews for three. No. Boy, that would have brought the house down. And Derek Rose is limping right now. Almost like he just kind of took an awkward step right there. Well, he was holding his knee. He's limping off. And uh, Jeff Tanaka went down to take a look. And you see Jeff Tanaka working on Derrick Rose. Right knee. He really shouldn't be talking. But again, with this lineup that's out there for the Bulls right now, with Derek being off the floor, Boozer being off the floor, who becomes your primary scorer? Lou Aldang has really struggled here in this second half. What caused Derek to leave the game? You see him make this little back cut. And they got a hand on it. Now watch right there. He kind of planted. And that would have appeared that maybe it was his left uh, foot or knee, but it was his right that, uh, as you see, Jeff Tanaka and Derek leaving for the locker room, and he's moving gingerly, so. Well, and only news that we got that he would not be returning, so Correct. we don't know how serious his injury is. And we'll be able to find out after the game, after he's reevaluated, but. It's really a tough, tough situation for him. But the Bulls have hung in there.